The following is a presentation of Action VR Sports. The following is a presentation of WON Sports. Are you ready, all you fans out there in out there land? I say it's time again. Have mercy, let the congregation say, hey man. It's time for the biggest, baddest party in the world. So get on up, turn it up a notch, and get ready to boogie, baby. Ow! <laughs> the excitement. Here's Metesky. And this one is caught! And the touchdown! The energy. Hit up the Scott. Ball hit up. Steve going out the left side. Breaking out the tackle. 40. 45. 50. Get by everybody. Down the side. Down the middle of the field. Right inside the 20. He's to the 10. The 5. Touchdown. Tilski. It's college football at his best. This is Siskiyou Screaming Eagles Football. Live on the Action VR WON Screaming Eagles Football Network. All right, and we are back here at Herschel Meredith Stadium. Thank you very much for uh, staying with us. And uh, while New York is off the air at the moment, we are uh, we are very pleased to be here with uh, Paris Petrick. You've probably heard that name so many times, uh, directing all of these games for uh, the College of the Siskiyou's Facebook page, but is involved with the Siskiyou Media Council. How are you doing, Paris? Hi. So glad to have you uh have me on your station here. Oh, absolutely. And it's always good to come back to the hometown. So for the folks who are not familiar with Siskiyou Media Council, tell us a little bit about it and uh, their involvement with uh, doing the uh, College of Siskiyou's games. Sure, sure. So um, the Siskiyou Media Council was founded in 2006 um, as a way to host two public access television stations, both YCTV Channel 4, which is in Wairika, um, and MCTV Channel 15, which is Mount Shasta. Um, they're all volunteer public access stations. And YCTV Channel 4 actually was um, created in 1978. And apparently we have the oldest working Telview stack in the country. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it before. And it's, a, it's, a, it's like in the old building, they had just stacks and stacks full yes, of stuff. Yes, they're got still moved. there. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. It's like storage right there that's for sure. Right, that's and I've right. been there. I've, I've seen what they've done. And, uh, and MCTV actually yes. started uh, back, I believe, was like... 1998. 1998. Mm -hmm. Yep, I remember when it started. Yeah. And, and this is so much fun to get to do this. It introduces everybody. It gives them an opportunity to see what television is like. And here that's at College right. of the Siskiyous... We had a we had a media communications program. Unfortunately, it's no longer there, and that was my, what my degree was in. That's and right. how difficult is that? You know, to see that. You know, is it discouraging for? I think it's heartbreaking. Yeah. I mean, qu quite frankly, because you know, I actually got my start in high school at a public access television station, mm -hmm. and then later on in college as well. Um, and if you don't have access to it as a young starting off person, mm -hmm. um, then you may never have that taste. And to be able to go into the world of broadcasting. However, um, we have recently opened up our new studio, which is two blocks from the college. And we are partnering with College of the Siskiyous. Mm -hmm. And so they are able to, um, <clears throat> we are able to provide them services and they actually sponsor us. Mm -hmm. And eventually we hope to do an internship program and then it'll lead into a program that uh, most people will be able to get credit for. So we're kind of back in just a different way. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's kind of tough, you know, to lose a program like that. Oh, but it's huge. The fact the fact that I was one of the first uh one of the first to get that uh that degree awesome? is it's so amazing. Well but, you're you're a testament to how it works. I oh, mean, yeah. you know, I'm sorry, but your voice is worth gold. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody could tell you that then, because I've 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 been in broadcasting over thirty years, going yeah. back to my old days in radio. Like Love I said, it. the old KWSD when I used to do high school reports here in Weed and then it just you know, went from there. I had kind of like a dry spell from that point on uh, for like maybe about five years, but at least I got to participate in doing community theater yeah. here at the college. Oh, see, now it's that's so perfect. Much, but it just, it just kept me going. And then I got involved with TV and uh, worked at different TV stations as a, as a board op, but got my first uh, feel of it here at the college and then um, just moved on from there. Oh, that's and great. it's always great to see that public access and Siskiyou Media Council keeping this going. I'm just happy that it's, Thank that it's you. going Thank you. I want to tell you that, you know, our next step 
Um, we are taking our channels online onto our new website, which is siskiyoumediacouncil.org. Mm-hmm. Um, and the channel should be going live in the next few weeks. Um, and the reason being is, if you if you know, uh, Siskiyou County is the size of Connecticut, mm-hmm. but it only has 40,000 people in the entire county. Mm-hmm. And we have no other um, news mm-hmm. organization. So the closest is Reading, which is out of our county, and mm-hmm. uh, Medford, Oregon, and so now we are starting our own news program called Inside Siski, Real News, Real mm-hmm. People, Real Close. And it will be community reporters from awesome. each of the towns. And we will be able to have news in Siskiyou County. Yay! Yeah, about time. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you know, the writing stations are pulling out because Siskiyou County, for people who don't know, is in the Medford designated market area. Right. And so we're pretty much kind of, you know. Alone. <laughs> pretty much alone. So now so now we've got something going, but it's really good it's to It's beautiful. To see it. More trees than people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh-huh. And, and and me being born and raised here, You're I know so that very lucky. much. Yeah. So I'm lucky. the luckiest I'm the luckiest guy on the face of the earth. And no, I'm not dying from ALS, folks, trust me. <laughs> uh, but the but but the thing about it is is that now that we're seeing that that media start to come back here in Siskiyou County and, mm-hmm. and seeing that Siskiyou Media Council has taken the reins. Yeah. Um, and what direction do you see it going uh, with, with the positive changes that have happened with the Siskiyou Media Council yeah. and what the future holds for, for broadcasting in Siskiyou County? Because it's, it's been like radio for years. Right. But now all of a sudden, here we are with television. Where do you think yeah. the future is going to go? Well, as you know, the future has changed a lot with the technology. And everybody holds in their hand a camera that's more valuable than the cameras that we used to actually have. Yeah. You know, in the station itself. So um, at this moment, what I believe to be um, sort of the future is the fact that each person in Siskiyou County holding their camera is able to shoot whatever they want and they can absolutely upload it and become either reporters or event, you know, they can... um, record events and actually put them up we can mm-hmm. all find out and and you know the last people that won con wasn't a couple of years ago yeah it was the first time that somebody had won con film uh shooting a film that was entirely on an iphone mm-hmm. so nowadays you know you don't necessarily need the big telecasters that we used to have yeah. um and you're able to film things so i do think that the future of filmmaking and broadcasting has changed because of the Mm -hmm. technology, but we are now able in this little County to, Mm -hmm. to be able to keep up because of it. So I think that's the future. I think the future is the artists, you know, Mm -hmm. we have, we have so many creative people here Mm -hmm. and um, have giving them a voice because as we say, we are of the people for the people by the people of Siskiyou Mm -hmm. County and, and having a platform for them here is, is exactly what we are. It's 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 wonderful. We're going to see it uh, continue to grow, and I want to see it continue to grow. And uh, don't be surprised if I come to a meeting or two if I could get Yay! away from my full time job. We would uh, love it. All right, Yay! all right. Well, Paris, thank you so thank much you for so being much, here with Mike. us, thank and you. we're gonna and we're gonna continue to support everything. And uh, who knows? Maybe I'll try and talk college and Siskiyous and bringing the degree program back. Woo-hoo, but for woo-hoo. now, but for now, this is the best way to go. So make thank sure you. that you guys get college credit. And, uh, yeah. and then we'll have, and the future's looking bright. If anybody could tell you about that, I'm the poster <laughs> child for it. Perfect. So. All right. Thanks very, very Thank much, you, Paris. Mike. All right. We're going to take a quick break here and we're going to get you right back to the game here shortly. But uh, until then, let's, let's hear what College of the Siskiyous has to say. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Are you looking for a great education that's also in a great location? Check out College of the Siskiyous. We offer a variety of career and technical education programs, general education, and personal enrichment classes. With our new Reg 365 process, you can register for any semester, any time of the year. With on-campus housing, an active campus life, competitive athletics, and expert guidance from our highly trained staff, College of the Siskiyous is waiting for you. Call us today. This is our time. We play without limits. We create without rules. We are not for sale. We connect with the whole world. Every idea we've shaped. Every relationship we've cultivated belongs to us. 
We demand the freedom to be our uncensored selves. And when something challenges that, we change it together. This is our time. Let's start a revolution. Let's MeWe. Join the revolution at MeWe.com. The following commercial is sponsored by FeedThePig.org, an organization devoted to helping you save money. We will not entice you with messages like Lowest prices in town. Dealer approved, certified pre-owned. No obligation consultation. Nor will we brag about our huge selection. Enormous variety. One-stop shopping. Everything under one roof. We'll promise. Prices reduced up to 75%. A sale like this can't go on forever. Factory liquidation. Financing options available. We will offer no contingencies like see store for details. Prices and participation may vary. Legal exclusions apply. No purchase necessary. We'll try to convince you that our product will give you cleaner, tighter abs in minutes. A perfect smile. Porcelain veneers. The freedom from those painful, embarrassing bunions. Because we simply want to help you spend smarter and save better. Log on to feedthepig.org. Find the benefits of saving for every stage of life. Brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. All right, welcome back, everyone, to Herschel Meredith Stadium on the campus of College of the Siskiyous on the Screaming Eagles football network. Uh, whether you are listening to us on the College of the Siskiyous Facebook page with the staff from uh, Siskiyou Media Council handling everything, our uh, great camera, great camera people, the guys up at the booth, and also uh, Paris doing a great job with directing as per usual. Uh, thanks to uh, Paris Petrick for joining us here on the radio side. Um, and waiting to hear, get a thumbs up from Jonathan Rios if we're back on the air over on WON, as uh, Joe Franklin is currently on the air at the moment. But we're just about ready to return to action from here at Herschel Meredith Stadium. And uh, for College of the Siskiyous, it's an uphill climb. They are trailing 21-7. to A uh, lone touchdown for the Eagles was the quarterback keeper by one Hayden Chittick, who um, is one of two quarterbacks. They've been utilizing two quarterbacks here with the... Um, with uh, uh, Ty Sivonksa out. And we are back on with uh, WON in New York. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Jonathan Rios, out there. We are back here at uh, College of the Sisters Herschel Meredith Stadium. Again, a reminder, we've got uh, high school football back on the air, and I think we're back on now. Uh, welcome back, everyone, on WON Sports, the 920 WON, the Apple in New York City. We're about ready to... Uh, Get the second half kickoff here from beautiful Weed, California. So wherever you're listening to us from, whether you're in Weed, California, or if you are in Brooklyn, New York, or uh, Coconut Creek, Florida, where Wacko Bob's at, we're certainly glad that you are back on the air with us. And here's the kick from Tristan Lewis. And it's going to be picked up by a receiver here. And gets a couple of good blocks and gets it out to about the 35-yard line. We'll see who comes out of the pile. And Savante Jordan with the return for American River College. And the Beavers are going to take it first down in town. I want to say Beavs. Like uh, Oregon State Beavers. But I don't know if they'd like me hearing that. Uh, but we certainly appreciate all of you uh, tuning us in here on the, uh, on the network. And we are... Uh, Streaming live on the video at the College of the Sissy Facebook page. So, uh, so if you're on Facebook, look for it. And and in the future, make sure you go to siskymediacouncil.org with their live live stream coming up in just a few weeks. So you might want to check that out for you folks uh, throughout all across the country and around the world to see what this place, this beautiful area is like. We're going to have a flag on the play. And... Abby has not stopped laughing. Offense, number 14, five yards, first down. <laughs> so offsides against Grant Patterson, and uh, Abby has not stopped laughing. Or delay of games, they're going to say, um, since the end of the first half. So, 
So, but most of us, we broke away from uh, from the uh, the break here. Uh, we broke away from our live feed here on uh, on the network and everything, and so much stuff. We're gonna get, we're gonna tell you more about what's coming up here on uh, both networks here shortly. And there's a short pass, getting out to number five, Little John, and he picks up uh, about three yards on the play. It'll be suck it down and seven and uh, once again we'll tell you about high school football coming up as soon as we're done with uh, COS football here all along the network on Action VR Network and uh, WON Sports <coughs> and if you are listening to us we'll tell you about how to uh, how to get a chance to listen to the games whoa what a stick but it was after the incompletion third down Pass was incomplete. It looked like Jawan Tanner was the intended receiver for the Beavers. It's going to bring up third down and seven. Again, for those of you on uh, 920 WO on the Apple, coming up next is going to be the Trumbull Eagles and the Danbury Hatters. Not haters. The Hatters from Danbury, Connecticut. The game will come on uh, as soon as that is done. Danbury, Connecticut. There you go. wonder if anybody from... Uh, from either Trumbull or Danbury will be listening to this game and say, hmm, they want to go, they want to go out west, see what this College of the Siskis is all about. Here's a short pass, and it's out to it's out to Tanner once again, and he gets a, a nice substantial gain, but he's going to be short of a first down by two yards, and looks like the Beavers are going to kick this one away. It'll be uh, Jesus Gonzalez getting ready to kick this one away. All right, Gonzalez is going to take the ball, and he kicks this one away, and it's a nice booming kick, and it's heading towards the end zone, and it's going to go into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Ball will come out to the 20-yard line. Get another reminder, also on WON Sports, we're talking XFL football. The draft was this week, and several players went, and uh, I can tell you a couple Oregon Ducks went in the, uh, in the second day of the draft. Uh, one to the Seattle Dragons, the other to the Tampa Bay Vipers, and an Oregon State Beaver got a chance to go in the first round of the skill players to the New York Guardians. And I'll tell you about the New York Guardians with regards to WON here shortly after we get this first uh, play underway here. As Hayden Chittick will take the snap, he gets a short pass. And gets it out to Wickman once again, and he gets a nice substantial gain. We have another flag on the play, so what else is new? Whenever the Eagles have the ball and they get a big gain, a flag has to come out. And I have a feeling there are going to be some uh, COS spectators that are going to be upset with the calls here. Holy offense, number one. Ten yards for the spot of the foul. Replay, first down. So D'Angelo Biggs has been whistled for the penalty, the guilty party there. <clears throat> so again, it'll be uh, first down, but further back, first and 15. You got a chance to uh, speak to uh, Hayden Chittick's dad uh, just a little while ago, saying that he's finally getting an opportunity to play, and uh, what a better chances any to uh, to get a chance to play here. Chittick's pass is complete to Wickman. Gain of about four yards on the plate. It'll be second down and 11. And he's a very versatile quarterback, but he's he could also run. And he uh, he has the Eagles' lone touchdown on a 15-yard uh, touchdown keeper scamper in the first quarter of play. But that's about all the Eagles have been able to uh, do here today. It's been American River uh, throughout much of this contest here today. And again, I'm hoping that I, I'm able to be heard. Oh, and the short pass juggled around. Kamani Wilkes had the ball, but uh, juggled it and out of his hands. So now it'll be third down and 11. And again, uh, we will not be making the travel next week to Butte College uh, to follow the Eagles. So that's one thing that uh, Jonathan does have to worry about. But uh, we wish the Eagles the best of luck against... Uh, 
the school that produced two Super Bowl champions that we know of, Larry Allen and Aaron Rodgers. As the Eagles will head down to Butte College in Oroville to take on the Roadrunners. And in two weeks, we'll be back here for the rivalry game, COS versus the Shasta College Knights. On third and 11. And here's another handoff. This is going to be a first down. Banks with the first down. And I can hear some screaming with the hurry up. That's probably out of the booth, actually. That might that might be that might be the coordinators outside of the booth, so we'll be able to uh, be able to hear it. the uh, The American River College booth is shut, so we're not going to be able to hear any profanity. I don't think there's the pass, but it's incomplete. Which one of the games did we do? That uh, that I th- I think it was I think it was the San Mateo game when I was taping the game, and it was before I came on board with. Uh, with the Sissy Media Council staff, where it was the San Mateo players, or actually the uh, the booth upstairs, there was a lot of profanity coming out of there, and uh, it's a good thing that uh, good thing I wasn't calling that game because they would have been hearing that. I'd hate to say it, but Paris would probably would have got in there and beat the guy up. <laughs> Here's the handoff on second and ten. <laughs> Truth. Like I said, public access, you have to have good taste of decorum there, too. Yeah. So, Banks on the carry. Thanks. Banks on the carry. Not, not you, sweetheart. Because <laughs> um, it goes back to the old television code days, back, uh, back when they actually had the television code, where you had to have good taste of decorum in your programming and advertising. And uh, those are the bygone days these days. On third down at five... Siskiyou's with the ball, and uh, Chittick getting the plays, and several players have uh, plays on their wristbands, which it used to be just the quarterback. Now it's uh, sk- the skill players, and a fumble on the play. And we're going to see who's got it. The Beavers have it on the handoff. Uh, lost the handle on the ball, and it winds up in the hands of American River College. Again, if you're just tuning us in. American River College out of Sacramento. Uh, one of two, uh, one of two junior colleges. We call them community colleges here up north. They're called community colleges, but they're the same thing. Um, but uh, one of two junior colleges out of Sacramento. The other being Sacramento City College, which did produce a Seattle Seahawk by the name of Seneca Wallace. He's long since retired. And got a chance to watch Seneca when he played for the Panthers when they took on the Knights years ago. Here's the handoff. Patterson connected with Turner. About a nine and a half yard gain, I'm going to say, but they'll probably mark him for the nine yard gain at about the 30, maybe the 31 yard line. Second down and one. I miss those days going to do Shasta College games, but Shasta Sports Network has that handled. And um, they'll be here next week, but I'm sticking with uh, I'm sticking with my hometown crew right here. Here's the, here's the pass from Patterson. He's got a man wide open. Just trots into the end zone. Touchdown, Eric Davis for the American River College Beavers. And the Beavers can do no wrong. They're building the dam now. Of course, like Abby and I, she's the duck fan. I'm the beaver fan. We're married, so that makes us a duck-billed platypus. <laughs> Only there are no teams in California called the Ducks other than the Anaheim Ducks in the NHL, but that, that doesn't work. So, no. Nope. Yeah. And now the kick coming up on the way, and it is just in. So 10.35 left to go here in the third quarter of play. It is American River College 28 and College of the Siskiyou 7. Take a break and come right back. You are listening to College of the Siskiyou's football all along the Siskiyou's radio network. 10 years from now. 
Are you looking for a great education that's also in a great location? Check out College of the Siskiyous. We offer a variety of career and technical education programs, general education, and personal enrichment classes. With our new Reg 365 process, you can register for any semester, any time of the year. With on-campus housing, an active campus life, competitive athletics, and expert guidance from our highly trained staff, College of the Siskiyous is waiting for you. Call us today. All right, welcome back, everyone, to Herschel Meredith Stadium on the campus of College of the Siskiyous here in Weed, California. As you are being heard all over the Screaming Eagles football network, whether it be Action VR Network out of Coconut Creek, Florida, and Central Point, Oregon, or 920 WO in the Apple, New York City. We're glad to have you here. And, of course, the folks here on the Facebook page locally. Here's the handoff, or the handoff. This is the kick return. And it looks like it's uh, number five. I'm trying to see who it is. I think it was. I think it was. Uh, yeah, it was Christian Dowdell. And he's no relation to uh, Charles Dowdell, who was the, a former indoor football quarterback for the dearly departed Spokane Empire. Which, by the way, uh, by the way, I want to give a big birthday shout out to. Arena Football Hall of Famer Cedric Bonner. Today's his birthday. He's uh, 25 nine times over, I think. <laughs> so happy birthday, Ced Bonner, uh, past guest on our podcast, Arena Football Nation. Here's the handoff. And the Eagles trying to get a spark going right here after uh, losing the ball previously on a fumble. A little on the carry for about a six-yard gain. It'll be second down, and, well, they're going to say an eight-yard gain, so it'll be second down and two. Chain gang was... <clears throat> chain gang working their magic today. And that one's going to be little for an Eagles first down, and uh, guys have tangled up a little bit, but no harm, no foul, no blood, no ambulance, no paramedics. Using that one to... Give a note to the late, great Chick Hearn, the former um, L.A. Laker announcer we lost back in 2002. One of the great inspirational voices in broadcasting. Here's the handoff. This time it's the number four. Breaks loose. Has one man to beat. But it's going to be knocked out of bounds. That's a little once again. Huge gain is going to get him into Beaver's territory, and it'll be a first down. Again, another reminder here on Action VR Network and 920 WL in the Apple, we're going to be once again joining the Siskiyou Media Council crew and the College of the Siskiyou's Facebook page for Screaming Eagle Football. So they'll host the Shasta College Knights. I can't wait for it. Good to see new head coach, Brian Hamilton. Two yards. Two-yard gain on the play with uh, Little with the carry once again. Looking forward to uh, getting a chance to reunite with Brian Hamilton, who's now the head coach of Shasta College. Uh, his head coaching experience previously was with Foothill High School down in Palisadro and uh, took him to, to some great things. But for many years, uh, an assistant under Craig Thompson, who Craig is now demoted himself down to offensive coordinator after many, many years as the head coach of Shasta College. I would love to. I would love to get him on our podcast sometime, or at least uh, our uh, broadcast here. And D'Angelo Biggs got the reception and down by contact, but lost about uh, two yards on the play that time. We'll be back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down and ten. Ball all the way back to the all the way back to the forty-seven yard line. Twenty-eight to seven in favor of the American River College Beavers, and we're going to try and get an update from the Ducks Huskies game, which uh, Jonathan's keeping an eye on. And oh, nice reception that time! But did he get a first down from the indication of the official? That is in a as uh, that is a first down. Oh, well, they're going to say fourth down, but not by much. And knowing Siskiyous, they're going to go for it on this one. On fourth down is uh, Chittick. 
fourth and inches. He's got Little in the backfield. Two wides out to the far side. And has the tight end set. High snap. Flag on the play. This one's going to be backed up. Little gets the first down, but it's going to be all for naught. As that flag immediately came out after the snap. It looks like it's going to be another penalty against the Eagles. And I'm telling Abby, I think we should have brought the signs today. <laughs> All right. Looks like we may uh, we may have lost the we may have lost the video feed. Number fifty-eight lined up in neutral zone. Five yards previous spot results the play is a first down. Well, it would have been a first down anyway, as uh, now a neutral zone infraction called against the Beavers. And here's the handoff to Little once again on first down. And it looks like they may have lost the uh, video feed, but we're still on the air here on... Nine, on uh, oh, still on? Okay. Oh, it looks like the video feed is still on. But, so we're on all the way around. So on second down, after a gain of six by Little, he takes the handoff once again, and uh, he's going to bruise his way to another first down. They got it on fourth and inches, and it looks like, oh my goodness, as I'm looking, and it is going to be a first down. It almost looked like it was going to be inches, but referees indicated it as a first down. And so this is what they're going to be doing now. 6.40 left to go here in the third quarter. <coughs> Excuse me, still, um, still trying to recover from the, uh, I guess, the one-day cold I had a couple of days ago. Here's the... Hand off again to Little, and he's going to lose a yard that time. And Abby ain't going to like this. Huskies, 28. Ducks, 21 in the third quarter. That's what's going on right now. And again, to remind everybody on WON, and to uh, make sure that uh, we get this in again, the Trumbull Eagles taking on the Danbury Hatters, Danbury, Connecticut. That comes up right after College of the Siskiyous football. And we're going to get right to that other announcement, too, of uh, a program that's only going to air on WON, but I'm looking forward to hearing it anyway. Oh, and that passing complete D'Angelo Biggs, the intended receiver. Get a reminder, a new weekly radio show devoted to the XFL's newest team, the New York Guardians, called Guardian Game Day, hosted by Fran Stutchberry. Takes a look at what's... Uh, the goings-on with the New York Guardians and the XFL. That will be coming up in February 2020. Uh, 920 WON, the Apple, and the WON Sports Network. Jeez, I got to do it in my Howard Cosell voice. On the WON Sports Network. Third and ten. They get another handoff this time. And this one breaking a couple of tackles and heads to the 10 yard line. And that is going to be a first and goal as Robert Banks has a first and goal. And we mentioned this, uh, I don't know if we mentioned this a little earlier, but Jonathan wanted me to make sure that everybody knows the Illinois Fighting Illini upset the sixth ranked Wisconsin Badgers 24 to 23 in a hard fought contest. And fumble on the play. And it looks like the Eagles will get it back. Little tackled by Little was tackled that time. And it's going to... Cameron Walker on the tackle. Walker on the tackle that time. It'll be second down and a long five. Got a gain of about four or five yards on the play. Maybe four and a half. And... Chittick is going to keep it himself. Well, I thought it was first and goal, but it's actually uh, just short. Third down and about four yards to go. So, gain of 
couple of yards. Well, they're going to say scoreboard says third and two, but we'll see if that is the case. It's actually third and two. There we go. Well, Bob Zalernaro's got his uh, binoculars working in good order. Working up there in the booth. And we'll be bringing you a station ID after this play. We'll break away for a station identification after this play here. And did he get the first down? And we're going to see. And it'll be fourth down. And we'll take a quick uh, we'll take a quick 10-second break to allow our stations to identify themselves all along the Screaming Eagles football network. This is Action VR Network and the College of the Siskiyou's Facebook page. Mike Summers back here at Herschel Meredith Stadium on the campus of College of the Siskiyou's on all along the Screaming Eagles football network, including Action VR Network, 920 WL in the Apple of New York, and the College of the Siskiyou's Facebook page with the Siskiyou Media Council. Timeout is going to be taken, so we're going to take a 30-second break and get you right back to all of the action coming up here. It is College of the Siskiyou's trailing 28-7 to against American River College Beavers. This is College of the Siskiyou's football all along the Screaming Eagles football network. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Are you looking for a great education that's also in a great location? Check out College of the Siskiyous. We offer a variety of career and technical education programs, general education, and personal enrichment classes. With our new Reg 365 process, you can register for any semester, any time of the year. With on-campus housing, an active campus life, competitive athletics, and expert guidance from our highly trained staff, College of the Siskiyous is waiting for you. Call us today. And we are back, and uh, wouldn't you know it, Paris just won a prize. Get interviewed, on, get interviewed on Action VR Network, and you win a prize. I should be the next Drew Carey. Okay, I'm stretching it. <laughs> Though Abby and I are going to be heading to Seven Feathers on November the 30th, because guess what? The Price is Right Live is going to be up there. So I hope everybody can get tickets to go uh, to go to Seven Feathers. Uh, tickets are $35, and... Um, Go to sevenfeathers.com, I do believe, is the uh, the website. Here's Little. I hate to use a commercial there. And stopped on fourth down, and American River will take over on downs, first and ten. So, yeah, Abby and I, and we can say it on the radio because nobody else in our family can hear it, but we're going to go to the Price is Right line, and I can't wait for that one. Who knows? Two, two, seven, four, two, five. I was hoping they didn't give out my... Never mind. <laughs> All right, so the uh, the Beavers are going to take over first and 10 at their own four-yard line. Eagles had chance after chance after chance to punch it in and just couldn't get through that dam that the Beavers built. So first down and 10 for ARC and uh, Grant Patterson back at the helm for American River. He... And just getting out of the end zone that time was uh, 35. Vonathan Allen on the carry. As Vonathan Allen. Second down. Uh, no gain on the play. And we have a player down for the Eagles. And out come the Eagle medical staff. ARC brought their staff as well. So it's always good to have everybody come together. And it looks like it's a Wayne Parrish. Six foot, 221 pound sophomore linebacker out of South Broward High School. Or... South Bullard High School in Hollywood, Florida. And it looks like he's going to be down for just a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick 30-second break and come right back. You are listening to College of the Siskiyous Football. Well, I guess we were going to take a break, so hold off on the break, Jonathan, as uh, as Parrish will come off the field under his own power. 3.06 left to go here in the third. And he's coming off limping a little bit. Beaver's riding high right now here in uh, Weed, California. A beautiful day. And uh, believe it or not, the clouds are breaking up. Turning into a beautiful day after we had clouds in the sky, a threat of rain. Yep. 
uh, below 50 degrees, I can tell you that, because now you got the breeze coming in, and it's making it feel like it's in the 40s. So, yeah, that's Siskiyou County weather for you. <laughs> I grew up in it, and I'm used to it, so that's how it is. Here's the... Although I think my age is catching up with me, though. Here's the uh, pass, and it's going to be another first down for ARC. And uh, number 88 on the reception that time, that's uh, Gerard. Austin Gerard with the uh, reception that time for the Beavers. That offensive line for American River has um, done everything right to protect the quarterback and also help to protect the running backs uh, to try and get through and open up holes and everything. So you gotta got to give credit to the Beavers. They've uh, they've done extremely well here uh, throughout the uh, throughout the course of the the afternoon. Here's the. And here's the handoff again, and the Eagles snuff that out immediately. So we're um, so on that uh, carry that time, loss of a yard that time for the uh, Beavers, and for the first time, what I'm looking at here on the Herschel Meredith Stadium field. I'm looking at gold soccer lines because College of the Siskiyous does have a soccer team. And they used to play on a uh, makeshift field out on the campus, but now they're playing their home soccer games here at Herschel Meredith Stadium. And that's awesome because uh, I don't know if it's both men or women. I think it is, but we'll, we'll find out eventually here. Short pass to Davis, and he gets about a four-yard gain. College of the Siskiyous, I know they have uh, men's soccer. I think they have women's soccer as well. And they have an opponent close by in Oregon, the Ospreys of Rogue Community College, which uh, they've had they've had soccer, I think, for the last three or four years now. And uh, they did have cross country for like the first couple of years, but did away with that. Now they have volleyball. <clears throat> and because the main campus for Rogue Community College is in Grants Pass, they play their soccer and volleyball in Medford. And COS has been participating in a lot of events there as well. Nice pass and a first down as Eric Davis Jr. took a shot. Boy, he earned that first down. But I got to tell you, number 41 was the first to pop him. And that was Jonathan Bailey, a 5'10", 166-pound freshman defensive back out of Canyon Springs High School in Vegas. And I got to tell you, uh, my Vegas Golden Knights are doing real well in their uh, third season in the National Hockey League. And 2020, I think it's next year, next season, I do believe. Or maybe two seasons after that. I'll get back to that in a second here. As Allen on the carry, gain of about five yards, second down at five. NHL is going to be in Seattle either next season or two seasons from now. So that's obviously, <clears throat> and that is going to be the end of the third quarter of play, and I'll get back to that in just a second. As the College of the Siskiyou Screaming Eagles still have a long way to go. they got 15 minutes to try and get back into it. They trail the American College, American River College Beavers by a score of 28-7. to seven. Stay with us. This is Screaming Eagle Football all along the Screaming Eagles Football Network. The following commercial is sponsored by FeedThePig.org, an organization devoted to helping you save money. We will not entice you with messages like Lowest prices in town Dealer approved, certified pre-owned No obligation consultation Nor will we brag about our Huge selection Enormous variety One stop shopping Everything under one roof We'll promise Prices reduced up to 75% A sale like this can't go on forever Factory liquidation Financing options available We will offer no contingencies like See store for details Prices and participation may vary Legal exclusions apply no purchase necessary. We'll try to convince you that our product will give you cleaner, tighter abs in minutes. A perfect smile. Porcelain veneers. The freedom from those painful, embarrassing bunions. Because we simply want to help you spend smarter and save better. Log on to feedthepig.org. Find the benefits of saving for every stage of life. Brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. Welcome back to action. Uh, play was run here as we started the fourth quarter. Uh, Patterson with the handoff to Bonathan Allen, and he gains eight, 
gains uh, some yardage on the play to make it third down, and they're going to call it eight, uh, third down and two. About a gain of uh, eight on the play, I do believe. So we're get, coming up on third down. To kind of get back to the point on the NHL, heading to Seattle. You would think that my wife, who loves all Seattle teams, would, would start rooting for them. But nope, she's sticking with her Boston Bruins. Who got off to a really hot start this year themselves. And here's the handoff. This one looks like it will be a first down. Will it require measurement? Nope. It'll be a first down on the handoff once again. Jeremiah Johnson picks up the first down. There we go. As I'm doing it right. For the uh, American College, American River College Beavers. I'll get it right eventually, folks. I've called enough of these games to know it's American River College. Once again, to kind of remind everybody uh, that uh, Seattle will be getting the NHL either next season or the season after. So they're pretty excited about that. And as far as football is concerned, I'll give you a little information here. And he overthrows his man, but not by much. There's number 10, the intended receiver. That's uh, Marco, Marco Queenie. Is a 6'2", 195-pound sophomore wide receiver out of Capitol High School in Boise, Idaho. And again, a reminder that uh, Pacific Northwest Community Colleges, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, do not have football programs. So that's why you see a lot of te- players from the Pacific Northwest come down here to California. American River picked up a couple of uh, Northwest products themselves. But the majority of their roster is... Local out of the Sacramento area. Here's Patterson. Short pass. Dropped that time. Another incomplete pass. Fortunate fortunate situation for the Beavers. That would have been a big loss if he would have been dropped right there. But pass incomplete. As far as football is concerned, everybody excited about the news of the Spokane shot coming back. But this time in the Indoor Football League. And Abby and I are still waiting to hear about Portland. Maybe our Portland Thunder may be coming back to the IFL. I hope. Just haven't really heard much of anything yet. But did find out Yakima is going to have an American West Football Conference indoor team very, very soon. <laughs> Here's Patterson. He's going to keep it himself. And he gets knocked out of bounds. After about a three-yard gain, it'll be fourth down and seven, and Beavers with nothing to really gain out of it. We'll pump this one away back to the Screaming Eagles. So now for College of the Siskiyous, it'll be back to the drawing board here for the next week because they got a tough road test coming up next Saturday. They head to Oroville to take on the Butte College Roadrunners. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, a... uh, a school that has also produced some NFL players. And there's the kick by Gonzalez and a nice spiral. It's going to take a beaver bounce and it's going to be down at about the 22-yard line, 23-yard line. So the Eagles will take over first down and 10. Butte College has had some players that have gone on to the NFL. Larry Allen, who won a couple of Super Bowls with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Garrett Cross, who went on to play in the NFL for the Cleveland Browns a Chico High School graduate. And and they also produced another Super Bowl champion, some fellow by the name of Aaron Rodgers. I think maybe you've heard of him. But the Butte College Roadrunners will be the host team at John B. Cowan Stadium in Oroville as they host COS next week. And there will be no coverage for that one. Pass goes to D'Angelo Biggs. <coughs> and the Eagles will have the first down of a gain of a 13 yards on that play. But I can't wait for two weeks from today when we're all here, our entire crew here, the video crew, the radio crew, when the Eagles will host the Shasta College Knights. And that's going to be a big one. And it's definitely going to be big for the uh, for the Knights because it looks like it's their year this year. And we're going to have flags all over the place as there's uh, some jawing going on. This one's going to go against the Eagles, and you know the frustration that happens quite a bit when you get when 
when you get this many penalties against you, frustration's definitely set in. And this one's probably going to go against... Well, I don't know. The uh, The officials are, are discussing it. My initial indication was going to be against the Eagles, but I don't know. So like I said, there was a lot of jawing going on after that tackle. And it is going to go against College of the Siskiyous. State ball. Personal foul. Offense, number 56. 15 yards. Second down. So it'll be second down, but it's going to be second down from clear to Ashland. I'd have to do it the way my good pal George Sorrelson would say it. Second down and half the distance to half the distance to Reading. <laughs> so I'm trying to count here. About 25 is what they're saying on the scoreboard. About 25 or 26. But again, the Eagles shooting themselves in the foot with penalties, and uh, there's the handoff. I wish Paris were around to hear George Thurlson's call whenever they did Shasta College games when they came up here. I'll tell you, they were so much fun, and I and I used to do I used to do two a games or two a days for like maybe about uh, three four years. Used to cover a COS game in the day and then go down to Reading to do a Shasta College game at night. Make it down there just in time, and I'll tell you, I logged a lot of miles all those years. Especially to work with uh, George Tharlson and Paul Vietti. George and I work once a year these days uh, with doing the Lions All-Star Game as he lives in the Sacramento area. As a matter of fact, Fair Oaks. Here's the keeper on the part of Chittick. It's about a 2-3 yard gain. And this one's going to be forked down, so they're going to probably uh, punt this one away. But, but Hayden Chittick getting some uh, playing time in here with the with uh, Sivanksa, I believe, out injured. Not sure. Not sure if he was uh, hurt during one of the uh, the games that we didn't cover when they were on the road, either at Chabot or at uh, City College of San Francisco. But uh, Sivanksa did not get the start today. And here's the kick by Lewis. And it's going to be picked up by number six. By Skaggs. And it'll be called down at the 48 yard line of the Eagles. So, so just been pretty much uh, all uh, American River College here today. And uh, again, entering today's game at 3 and 2. We got that information from Jonathan Rios uh, mentioning that the Beavers. Uh, with the three and two record, did pretty well for themselves and uh, could go up to four and two. And if they continue the road that they're on, they could wind up uh, going to a bowl game or even go or even hosting a bowl game at ARC. <coughs> but they definitely have the horses for sure this season. And Patterson gets this one away, and it's going to be caught. And this one could be six, but no, it's not. As number five, that's Little John. And uh, got some more out of it there, and it's uh, down to the Eagle 10 yard line, and uh, they are knocking on the door once again. First and goal from the 10. So, what started out as a cloudy day here today, uh, the sun has come out. It's turned out to be a gorgeous day. Still a little on the cool side, but uh, I'll take it since I grew up here. But unfortunately with my age, it's catching up to me. Here's the handoff once again, and it's going to be to Allen. About a five-yard gain. It'll be second and goal from the five. NBA season... Uh, about a week away from getting started with the regular season. And uh, I know for the folks uh, here on the West Coast, or especially in this particular area, they're going to be rooting for the Kings and the Blazers this year. I, of course, I live in Oregon again. I was a Kings fan up until I moved into moved to Medford. And at that point, I became a Blazer fan. And the Blazers are celebrating their 50th anniversary, by the way. 
50th anniversary season. Here's the handoff into the end zone. Well, going to be stopped just short. Probably about the one-yard line as Vonathan Allen was going for the touchdown, but it's going to be stopped just a yard short. And I don't mind looking around the guys here as they've got uh, their eyes on the action here. Just another another wonderful job by the uh, Siskiyou Media Council staff getting the uh, games broadcast live on the College of the Siskiyou's Facebook page. And hopefully Sunday we'll have some COS games broadcast live throughout the Siskiyou Media Council on YCTV4 in Wairika and MCTV15 in Mount Shasta. And here's... Launching himself that time, Allen, into the end zone for the touchdown. But boy, Allen, <laughs> I got to tell you, he launched himself. XFL, are you watching? <laughs> hopefully, the, hopefully they got their, uh, hopefully they got their eyes on uh, what we've got right here because they're still going to look to bring some players in into the XFL, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be looking for the future right here. Jonathan Allen, my goodness, he just flew through the air. And now here's the kick on the way, and that is good. As Gomez puts it through the uh, uprights, and so timeout on the field. 8.26 left to go here in the ballgame, and it is all American River College leading 35-7 to over College of the Siskiyous. Stay with us. We'll have more after this 30-second break. You are listening to College of the Siskiyous football all along the Screaming Eagles football network. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Are you looking for a great education that's also in a great location? Check out College of the Siskiyous. We offer a variety of career and technical education programs, general education, and personal enrichment classes. With our new Reg 365 process, you can register for any semester, any time of the year. With on-campus housing, an active campus life, competitive athletics, and expert guidance from our highly trained staff, College of the Siskiyous is waiting for you. Call us today. Welcome back, everyone, to Herschel Meredith Stadium. Uh, I know that your support for College of the Siskiyous has been uh, has always been incredible. But uh, we got basketball season on the way, and uh, coming up in November is when the regular season will start for both the men and the women. And we'll be looking forward to uh, possibly even having Tom Powers come on, and maybe even the possibility of broadcasting some games at that point. On the kickoff here, we've got and we've got a lot of guys that are. Uh, Jockey for position here. As Dowdell gets a nice return out of it. And brings it out to about the 29-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for the Eagles. Eagle basketball will have the women and the men. Men play the traditional two 20-minute halves, while the women, I think this uh, became a rule years ago, that now they play four 10-minute quarters. So hopefully we can... Uh, Hopefully we can get some action VR network and WON basketball action involving College of the Siskiyous. And everybody out there on the East Coast, if there are any community colleges out there, you need to wake up out there. Here's the handoff. As Little will have the one-yard carry. About a half a yard carry, so it'll be second down at about nine and a half. And I'm going to see if... Uh, Jonathan can relay a message to me to see if there are any community college programs out back east, uh, especially in his home state of New York. Here's the handoff, and it's again to Little, and he is tackled for a loss of about two yards on the play. <clears throat> so if you hear a ding, that'll be Jonathan. And he'll let me know about if there are any kind of junior college or community college programs back east, uh, especially in his home state of New York. You guys got to get cracking out there. <laughs> we need to get some, some more. Uh, we need to get some coverage out there. Hayden Chittick back out of the ray gun, and he gets this pass out to uh, Biggs, and he gets a good gain on the play, but well short of the first down. And there are some junior college teams out in New York City, so guess what? New York City, you have no excuses. Get a hold of Jonathan Rios. Get your games on the air. As we have a flag on the play. Let's let's get some games on 920 WN the Apple to join College of the Siskiyous. 
What do you guys think? Oh! C-U-N-Y basketball. There you go. I'm sure Jonathan will be... Uh, I'm sure Jonathan will be in touch with them to possibly uh, get uh, basketball going on there. So, as far as football, I don't. I don't think they have football programs though. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a little bit of a delay here. There, there's no reviews, and uh, there is a flag on the play. That's that's what they're looking at. But I don't hear. I don't know what the referees are not. I think they're probably going to pick the flag up. No, actually, they're not. Defense. Why did the neutral zone number 87? Five yards, previous spot, replay, third down. So number 87 is going to be hit with, uh, with the uh, penalty that time. Sean Goings, a 6'3", 255-pound sophomore tight end. How about this, a, a school I'm familiar with, Capital Christian High School, the Cougars, out of Sacramento. Matter of fact, they used to play in Mount Shasta's League. And here's the pass, and it's the Biggs, and... He gets loose, and he's in, and he is a touchdown, Eagles! Wow, what a pass! That is a 70, almost a 70-yard touchdown pass. I'm going to go ahead and say about a 67-yard touchdown pass from Hayden Chittick to D'Angelo Biggs, and he gets into that end zone, and the Eagles are back on the board. And Jonathan did tell me there is no football there at the community college level, but since uh, CUNY uh, basketball, I'm going to I'm going to ask him what that means. Um, to uh, see what that means, because there could be a chance you could see some community college basketball over there on 920. How about that? Kick on the way is good by Lewis. So we'll take a quick another quick commercial break here. Timeout on the field. 6:43 left to go here in the ball game, and it is now. American River College 35, College in Siskiyou's 14. Stay with us. This is Screaming Eagle Football all along the Screaming Eagles Football Network. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Are you looking for a great education that's also in a great location? Check out College of the Siskiyou's. We offer a variety of career and technical education programs, general education, and personal enrichment classes. With our new Reg 365 process, you can register for any semester, any time of the year. With on-campus housing, an active campus life, competitive athletics, and expert guidance from our highly trained staff, College of the Siskiyous is waiting for you. Call us today. And we are back here from Herschel Meredith Stadium. So, so hopefully CUNY will get their uh, basketball team on 920 w on the Apple College of New York. And he tells me that's the organization that oversees universities and junior colleges. So there you go, College of New York. And we're going to have a timeout on the field. So we're going to go ahead and stay here right with you through the break here as uh, American River um, with a little bit of a mix-up. So they're going to call a timeout. So we're going to stay here with you through the break. So Jonathan will give, pass me along the uh, information. As the uh, Mount Shasta Fire Department, I do believe, or the Mount Shasta Ambulance or the Weed, Weed Fire Department, and Mount Shasta Ambulance doing a great job always to make sure that we keep our players healthy. Jonathan's going to give me some notes here. By the way, to uh, get to that other announcement here about another show, I think we already told, told you about that. The XFL CUNY Conference is where a lot of the New York colleges, you know, have, have everything. <clears throat> I'll get some more information on that, hopefully before the game in two weeks with Shasta College to... Uh, Find out more about the um, the uh, community colleges out in New York. I, I'd like to see that happen. And they do have their games broadcast uh, exclusively on um, CUNY TV. So I so we know that th they have that, but they got to get cracking on some possibly getting some radio stuff for uh, Mr. Rios. There is uh, starting to feel a little lonely here. <laughs> Here's the uh, cut off, and that goes out into the end zone. But just to let everybody know, we will try to get some um, College of the Siskiyous basketball on the air on um, Action VR Network and uh, maybe even do a pregame show with Tom Powers. What would you think? 
because uh, Jonathan has been airing some uh, has been airing a two minute promo spot, and uh, Tom is actually in that spot. So would love to come back down here to watch some College of the Syracuse basketball, but that does depend on the weather. And uh, the weather here, when it snows, it gets as bad as New York. I'll tell you. And me coming coming over the Siskiyous, it's a it's a difficult task when you have to do it with the winter weather. So we have to just keep an eye on the winter weather. And it looks like we're going to have a winter here this year. Here's the handoff from Patterson on first down and gets it to uh, gets it to Johnson, and he'll uh, gets uh, a couple of yards on the play. It looks like we have uh, number twenty five. It's Chris Bush, five six hundred and sixty pound. Freshman running back out of Center High School in Antelope, California, which is just outside of Sacramento. And I believe that's where my uh, my Aunt Anne lives, is in Antelope, California. My, my Aunt Abby's Aunt Anne on my mom's side. And here's the handoff again. It looks like uh, going to give it to him again. Loss of a yard on the play. Christian Navarro on the tackle for the Eagles. And hopefully, I can find his stats. This is the first time we've called his uh, first time we've called his name all day. There he is. He is a six foot, two hundred thirty three pound freshman defensive lineman out of Linwood High School in Linwood, Washington. Yeah, he says that's where her brother Albert used to live, right? Yep. Outside of Bellevue, Washington, I'm being told by my resident expert wife, Abby. She'll tell you everything. Here's the handoff again. It looks like it's to uh, Bush again. And Chris Bush is running like Reggie Bush as he gets out to the 40-yard line of the Eagles. And that will be a first down. Reggie Bush, I think, now is a... uh, Reggie Bush, I think, is now an analyst. I could have sworn I saw him the other day on uh, Fox Sports. As a college football analyst. Clock continues to run, heading towards five minutes to go here in the ball game. Once again, another reminder, uh, we've got um, on 920 WO in the Apple, we've got high school football coming up. Once again, it is uh, Trumbull Eagles taking on the Danbury Hatters from Danbury, Connecticut. That game comes up immediately after College of the Syracuse football. And here's the handoff once again. And number 29, uh, I think we called his name already, and it is Chris Osby, we did call his name, so he gets the carry that time. Action VR Network will be um, leaving the air as soon as we're done here, but uh, coming up later on, we will replay AFT Buzz later on this evening, as well as XFL Now, followed by the Ryan Richards Show, and One Nostalgic Weekend, all comes your way on Action VR Network, but again, Coming up on action over on uh, 920 W on the Apple. Uh, Trumbull and Danbury. And here's the carry attempt and on the tackle that time for the Eagles. Once again, there's number 31. Again, that's Tristan. Well, that's Tristan Lewis is listed as 31. That must be somebody else. 91, I believe, has been. This is on the tackle that time, Taylor Courtney is a 6'1", 230-pound freshman defensive lineman out of Sunset High School in Portland, Oregon. Again, uh, Siskiyou's lineup laden with talent from the Pacific Northwest. Always good to see, especially with uh, Spokane Shock coming back in the Indoor Football League. And there's Patterson again and slides to a stop. And gets the first down at the 25-yard line. So 3:08 left to go here in the ball game. Siskiyous did get the late touchdown here to make it a more respectable contest here, as it just has not been a good game. And over on 920 W1, the Apple Friday Night Football continues as the Trumbull Eagles will take on the Norwalk Bears. 
game will be this coming Friday at 6.45 p.m. Eastern Time. So that will be on 920 WON the Apple. So make sure that you uh, check that out. And again, College of the Siskiyou's football returns in two weeks on both WON as well as Action VR Network, as well as the Facebook page for College of the Siskiyou's with the crew of Sh- uh, Siskiyou Media Council. Almost said Shasta Sports Network. That's Shasta College Knights. But that's who that's who's coming to town to play the Eagles is the Shasta College Knights from Reading. So look forward to seeing that. Love to watch that old rivalry up the I-5 corridor. Although technically Shasta College is just off of 299. So <laughs> and that's another subject for another time as we try to wrap this game up here. As number 28 now getting a little bit of a carry here. That's uh, going to be uh, Tejon King. We already gave you his stats. So he gets the carry right here as the clock continues to run, heading towards the minute and a half mark to go in the game. So again, we want to thank everybody on uh, the Facebook page, and um, they'll sign off here uh, shortly as uh, we're as we're going to be going to break. But as I said, uh, on the radio side, be sure and stay with us after the break. Uh, we'll once again uh, tell you about the, the upcoming games, including the one coming up after we're done. Uh, over on 920 with uh, the Trumbull Eagles and the Danbury Hatters. And that'll be stopped. Chase LaRue on the stop of uh, the runner that time for American River. Inside a minute to go here, so that's going to wrap it up. And the uh, Siskiyou's folks are starting to file out of Herschel Meredith Stadium. Not a big crowd today, obviously because of the cold weather and the threat of rain, but uh, fortunately the rain stayed away. Not a repeat of two years ago when it was a monsoon when these two teams played. And boy, I wish I would, I wish I would have had this back then. And the Ducks retake the lead 35-31 in the fourth quarter, so Abby will be happy about that. Too bad she and George Thorles don't have a bet going either. <laughs> and here's the first down. Oh, nice pop that time, and we have a player down for the Beavers. And they stop the clock with 16 seconds left to go, and holding his uh, side there. So they stop the clock to move the chains, and it's going to be first and goal. And I think the Beavers may just have to, may just want to sit on this one and not prolong the agony here. And the clock is going to run, so they're just going to run the clock out. So that is going to do it as the American River College Beavers take the win here and go to four to two, four and two on this season, and one and zero oh in conference play. While the College of the Siskiyou Screaming Eagles drop to zero and one in conference, zero and six on the season. Let's get the final score. From Herschel Meredith Stadium, American River College Beavers 35 and the College of the Screaming Eagles 14. For those of you on the Facebook page, thank you very much for uh, tuning us in. Uh, the radio audience will be joining us in the commercial break, but we will be signing off here on the video feed. Thank you very much for tuning us in. For the entire crew from Siskiyou Media Council and College of the Siskiyous, for our director, Paris Petrick, I'm Mike Summers. Thank you very much for tuning us in. For the radio audience, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we'll uh, once again set things up and uh, get everything ready as we head to our car. So stay with us. This is College of the Siskiyous Football all along the College of the Siskiyous Scream Eagle Football Network, Action VR Network, and 920 WON, the Apple. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Are you looking for a great education that's also in a great location? Check out College of the Siskiyous. We offer a variety of career and technical education programs, general education, and personal enrichment classes. With our new Reg 365 process, you can register for any semester, any time of the year. With on-campus housing, an active campus life, competitive athletics, and expert guidance from our highly trained staff, College of the Siskiyous is waiting for you. Call us today. Canadian Aquatic Auctions, the place to be if you are into anything aquatic. Nelson Fletcher, owner and operator, has years of experience and wants to help you better achieve your aquatic needs and goals. So if you're an aquatic hobbyist and enthusiast, please visit Canadian Aquatic Auctions today. Their public auctions provide a venue to remarket all aquatic-related products, services, and equipment. 
If you are just starting out in the hobby, the site has a tack room where you can converse with other aquatic hobbyists like yourself. Canadian Aquatic Auctions is the eBay of everything aquatic. So visit Nelson at his site at www.aquariumauctions.ca or go check out his Facebook page as well at www.facebook.com slash Canadian Aquatic Sales. Together we can build lasting relationships that are based on listening and servicing your needs in a professional environment. Canadian Aquatic Auctions. My name's James. For six years, I was a garbage can druggie. I would do any kind of drug I would get my hands on. But here at Teen Challenge, I've walked away from that drug lifestyle for good. If you know an adult or teenager who is struggling with a chemical addiction, Teen Challenge is there to help. Please, don't wait. Call us today at 417-862-6969 or reach us on the web at teenchallengeusa.com. Skis Watch and Clock, 106 West Central Avenue, Winter Haven, Florida, 33880. Located downtown across from the main post office. When you're short on time, he's right on time. For all of your watch, clock, sales, and service needs, call Skis, 863-294-5630. Sales, service, free estimates, and reasonable rates. That's 863-294-5630 for Skis Watch and Clock. This is our time. We play without limits. We create without rules. We are not for sale. We connect with the whole world. Every idea we've shaped Every relationship we've cultivated belongs to us. We demand the freedom to be our uncensored selves. And when something challenges that, we change it together. This is our time. Let's start a revolution. Let's MeWe. Join the revolution at MeWe.com. Do you want to capture the best memories you can? Is wanting to help preserve those memories your goal? Do you want your memories to last a lifetime? Do you want your memories to look beautiful in pictures? Well, if you live in Southern Oregon or Northern California, there's one place you can save those treasures for a lifetime. Grateful Heart Photography. Abigail Summers is your solution for capturing your favorite moments and memories like birthdays, graduations, weddings, family portraits, single shots, and more. She can also capture the finest scenery shots around and make them available all across the country and around the world and at a price that can suit your budget. So if you're looking for the right photographer that can help preserve your legacy, look no further than Abigail Summers at Grateful Heart Photography. Call Abby today at 541-951-2443 or message her at her Facebook page by searching for Grateful Heart Photography. Much of her work is displayed there. Feel grateful for the memories captured by Grateful Heart Photography. If you're looking for action-packed classic fun, look no further. Cut it! The machine gun! Look out, Daddy! Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! For the best in old time radio adventures, you've come to the right place. This is one nostalgic weekend. Saturdays and Sundays, midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on Action VR Network. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? 
Are you looking for a great education that's also in a great location? Check out College of the Siskiyous. We offer a variety of career and technical education programs, general education, and personal enrichment classes. With our new Reg 365 process, you can register for any semester, any time of the year. With on-campus housing, an active campus life, competitive athletics, and expert guidance from our highly trained staff, College of the Siskiyous is waiting for you. Call us today. Welcome back, everyone, to Hershey Meredith Stadium on the campus of College of Siskiyou. Uh, just filing out of the stadium here as the Screaming Eagles have another tough loss against the American River College Beavers as they as they fall thirty five to fourteen. Uh, but uh, no rest for the weary, as they say, as the uh, Eagles will take on the Butte College Roadrunners next week in Oroville. That's going to be a tough. That's going to be a tough test for them. And then we will be uh, back here in two weeks as the Eagles will have another tough one against the Shasta College Knights. We're just about to wrap things up here again. Coming up on uh, WON 920 The Apple, it is going to be high school football once again as the as Trumbull takes on Danbury. And then uh, we will be back a little bit later on this evening with AFT Buzz followed by XFL Now. And then it will be the Ryan Richards Show. And that will be followed uh, again, by one nostalgic weekend on Action VR Network. Again, thanks to everybody. Thanks to Jonathan Rios in the New York studios and uh, everybody at Action VR Network, uh, including uh, Waco Bob in uh, Coconut Creek, Florida. Thank you very much for tuning us in. Uh, we will talk to you again in two weeks as the College of the Siskiyou Screaming Eagles will try to bounce back. Um, and who knows what's going to be happening uh, until uh, who knows what's going to happen between now and two weeks as. The uh, Eagles will take on the Shasta College night. So until then, for everyone involved, uh, again, for our crew, <laughs> for uh, Jonathan Rios back in New York, thank you very much for uh, helping us out there. And for those of you in New York, we're going to take you right out to your high school game in just a bit. I'm Mike Summers. Thank you very much for tuning us in, and we will talk to you again. Thanks very much, and have a great afternoon, everyone. <laughs>